Metro police are searching for a man who robbed a couple at gunpoint while their child slept just a few feet away. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Now, that crime took place early this morning at a home in Franklin Township. Our nightly reporter, Jenny Runovich, shows us how the thief got in and how the family thankfully stayed safe. Jenny? Well, guys, the family had a barbecue last night and they simply forgot to close the garage door. This morning, mom and dad spent an hour and a half at gunpoint watching their home get robbed and begging the gunman not to wake their son. Well, I mean, I'm shaking inside, but I, I'm just glad to be alive. Kelly and her family victimized by a man with a gun. Very scary. Not how you want to wake up in the morning. They'd made a mistake many of us have, leaving an opportunity for thieves. Did not, did not double check that the garage door was closed. Just after Kelly's alarm went off the next morning, she got up to walk the dog and noticed someone in their home. And that's when he saw me and he instantly pointed the gun and told me, get down on the ground, don't say anything, just get down. Soon her husband was up and at gunpoint too. The couple led room to room as the young thief robbed the place. Electronics, jewelry, phones, even her wedding ring gone. Keep your hands up where I can see them, hands where you can see them. So we were walking around with our hands up. He kept saying, don't lie to me, don't you lie to me, don't make me shoot you. But the whole time, Kelly had one constant thought. What was behind this door and her desperate need to protect it? So all we kept saying was, just please don't go into our son's room. I said, he's 10, he has a TV, toys, but nothing of value. Her son slept through the crime, which lasted an hour and a half. The gunman never did go in his room. In fact, Kelly says the aggressive thief suddenly developed a soft spot, not stealing their Wii system and other items on purpose. Various things he would say, did your son play with this? And we were like, well, we said yes. So then he left it behind. It was just, it was strange. He also offered an apology as he took off with their stuff. Before he left, he said, I'm so sorry to do this to you. Kelly's just glad this door stayed closed, that her son, her family, is still safe. Everything can be replaced. We're, we're lucky to, we have our lives. Oh, they are certainly lucky. Now, Kelly says this robber was wearing a ski mask the whole time. He was likely in his 20s. He was skinny, about 5'10". And Kelly has a big takeaway from this. Make sure your garage is closed every single night. Of course, it's easy to forget. We've all done it where we accidentally leave it open. Also, kind of an interesting thing. She was able to call 911 from an old iPhone that was actually in her son's room. It was being used as an iPad. So even though your phone may be deactivated, you can still use it to dial 911 in emergency. That got police there, but thank goodness they're all yeah, okay. Such a great tip. I'm sure a lot of people don't even know yeah, that. Yeah, she didn't know it either until yeah. she had to use it. Well, thanks for reminding us. We appreciate it. Glad sure. they're okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jenny.